Hello, it's Scooter with the Great Michigan Bush Company. This week I was looking at some old video footage, found some landings that were just a lot of fun. These aren't particularly good landings, they're not particularly bad landings, just memories uh, that I have with the Great Michigan Bush Company that I wanted to share with you. Uh, so sit back, relax, and, and enjoy some of these uh, backcountry and even uh, asphalt landings. Aviation, the way it was meant to be. The hangout. This is one of our favorite spots to go. Unfortunately, uh, we don't get to go there anymore. But while we were flying it, it was good times and a little bit of a challenge. The hangout was just a little uh, private beach area that we had and uh, we'd meet there. It was a rally point. It provided a, a challenge for most people, but uh, wasn't uh, wasn't that difficult. This here is Grindstone, nice small strip at the tip of the thumb in Michigan. Well manicured, and we can see Stevie Q here uh, landing like a pro, and he gets in and out so quick. You know, us uh, light touring aircraft don't get that opportunity. We land and take off a little longer. This is Wayne's place. We got Riddle going in. He uh, gets down and decides to just practice a missed approach in low energy state. It's a lot of fun. You can see the plane carving through the air. Here's me coming in the other end of Wayne's place. Nice short field landing. Uh, this one ended up being about 190 feet. I think someone called it 290 because they were forgot how sure I was. The Flying V Ranch. It, uh, great place. Well manicured. It is like a fairway. I found this, flew over it, flew by one afternoon and had the, the owner wave me off. And then a few uh, weeks later we found out that we actually knew the owner. And uh, he said the field was wet that day. Come back anytime. And, and we've taking them up on that offer. Uh, tall trees on one end and uh, you slip down. It's not that uh, tight but it, it looks a little intimidating because both sides have have trees on it and that's the Michigan backcountry flying. We have trees to deal with. Uh, some guys get really creative here like Jester who cut a notch in the trees. It still ends up being a one-way in, one-way out field. Uh, the hill on uh, one side is uh, 80 foot, I think, from top to bottom. And that elevation over the you know, 1,200 foot strip, better go out downhill. Here we've got the Two-Hearted River. The Two-Hearted River is an RAF strip in Michigan. Uh, it's one of the bumpiest public strips. Uh, it is the bumpiest public strip in, uh, in Michigan. One half is nice, and then one half is very undulating. Uh, if you haven't been in before you hit the undulations, it, it can throw you for a curve. Uh, we can see that here with the silver bullet. Uh, not having been in before, and you start some PIOs, and you just can't get out of it. The, the frequency of the bumps seems to be very much the frequency of an airplane's bounce, and you just keep bouncing. Uh, and then, if you've been in before, you uh, you know just uh, how to land, bring it in with a little less energy, and uh, you can minimize the bounce. Or you can just land long and it's smooth. But who wants to land on the smooth part? We're always looking for a challenge, so too hard is a great place to go. This was Dwayne's field, and Dwayne cut the notch in his field also. It's, uh, it's not that short, 1,200 feet. Uh, but it's an old cornfield that's been beautifully plowed and he runs out with the... Uh, uh, he manicures, he cuts it, so he must run out with some kind of tractor and it, he obviously rolls it also. Uh, he mainly flies ultralights in and out of here, but uh, we've had 180s and even. Here's Stevie Q doing his landing again. High angle of attack, super short. Uh, again, us light touring aircraft don't get that type of performance.
Here with some uh, stole practice in, in Marlette on the asphalt with the old Stinson 108 and you can hear the tires just a squawking. Um, they're eight and a half inch tires, they squawked and I got heavy on the brakes. A little bonus landing here during the middle of, or when the COVID first started, there wasn't much traffic in the Detroit Metro Airport. And uh, I went in with my Stinson and it, it was pretty neat. So here we are going into uh, the Detroit Metro Airport with the tail dragger. All right, Forest Hills. I just had a nice landing with this airplane and then I see how I'm carrying too much energy and it bounces. And uh, it was just fun to see the snow fly and, uh, and the bounce and then the inability to stop because, well, we've got a lot of ice and snow on that. That was, that was a big bounce, man. I hit it hard. We arrived. That was awesome. Good times, good times, good times. This was down south. It was a, a guy named Mike. He flies his plane in and out of here. He's got a husky. And uh, I, again, this was a notch in the trees, uh, which was nice because the field beforehand was, was uh, allowed you to get down low and then just hit the beginning of his strip, which I think was 1,500 feet. We used about 800. But what Mike had on the other side was what he called his one way in, one way out strip. It was a little notch through the trees on a dog leg. But you know, Stevie Q with the Super Stole, he had to prove that uh, even when you have 800 feet, 700 feet, and 60 foot trees, well, um, that doesn't stop you from getting in and out of the field. Here he comes over the trees, choosing not to go over the, uh, through the notch, but over the top. And uh, he lands. A little bit of brake action there, um, but plenty of room. Turns it around real quick. Applies the full uh, 200 horsepower he has in that thing and just powers out. Once again, not choosing to go through the notch, but uh, let's just go over the top of those trees. Uh, sometimes I think he shows off. <laughs> I guess it's his right, he's a good pilot. Um, here's a little bonus, this is my short field landing at Troy. If you've ever in Troy, you take a look at that first runway, or the first taxi away off runway 9. Um, scooter, he can land that runway and make the first taxi way. I've only seen one plane do that. Maybe we'll see more in Hull. End of September, this airplane is going to be down in Arkansas and we're going to be flying at the Arkansas. Pretty excited about that. Uh, it's a, a fantastic uh, stole competition. The kind of flying I like to do the best, which is getting in and out of short field strips. It's, a, it's The skill is not so much how fast can you drag an airplane in and land it short, but how well can you apply an approach into a short strip and then take off short over obstacles and get to the next runway. You know, it's a race. It's a, it fits what I like to do as a pilot perfectly. Last night we were out practicing some uh, slips all the way down to the ground with some super steep approaches. The flaps on the Stinson can be a, an issue coming over obstacles. It, they're, they're small. So you need to aggressively slip it and, uh, all the way to the ground and then rolling out at four or five feet. We'll get some video of that for you as we practice. And then there's a couple of local airports that I can go to that will allow me to uh, make some turns, take off, low level flight, right hand turn, left hand turn to, a, uh, to an intersecting runway, run out, turn around, take off, clear an obstacle, come back. And uh, pretty much practice figure eights doing both upwind and downwind landings and just practicing some of those techniques in the airplane. I'll show you the progress that I make toward uh, Stinson Stoll here. Scooter Stinson and Blue Suede Shoes heading to Arkansas Stoll. Stay tuned and join us along the journey. If you like this stuff, give us a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.